Over the summer, as you well know, Democrats seem to have the wind at their backs. But we're now less than four weeks away from Election Day, and the polls in key races are tightening for Democratic candidates. What changed? Well, actually, nothing changed from what we anticipated. We knew the polls would be uh, tightening, and we knew that these uh, elections are all going to be nail biters. They're all going to be very close. Uh, if you would have, if you would have asked me last year, uh, wh where do you see these races uh, going into the last few weeks? I would have told you all of these battleground states are going to be very, very tight. It's going to be uh, critical for us to have a ground operation to make sure that we turn out voters. Uh, as you know, Jonathan, we have voter turnout in a midterm tends to drop off from where a presidential election is. And so turnout is a, is a major uh, factor. It's something at the DSCC, which uh, uh, I am privileged to chair, uh, has been making significant investments uh, on the ground all across uh, our battleground states to turn out that vote. So we're basically, uh, uh, we're, we're not surprised about where we are. No one should be surprised <clears throat> with these numbers and know that it's going to come right down to election day and very tight races will determine uh, the majority in the Senate uh, going into the next session.